happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a huge amazon nail supply haul for you all um first i want to just say thank you all for all the love and support you've been showing on my community tab for those of you who don't know i do post all of my amazon deals that i find on my community tab especially the really exclusive deals i'm going to show you all some of the items that i got from amazon that were just like a ridiculously low price i try to post those items on my community tab first because i don't always have an opportunity to film um the items as i get them so yeah, make sure you all stay on the lookout on my community tab for any new deals and things like that. It is also Prime Day today and tomorrow. And so um, I just posted my Prime Day deals that I found. So if you all want to head over to my community tab and check those deals out, you can as well. But yeah, y'all, let's hop into this haul to see what goodies I got. First, I want to start off showing you guys one of the coolest deals I got recently. So this was a 20-piece gel polish set, you guys, that I got. It is from Opuy. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not and it came in this huge like box it's really beautifully packaged this was $7.99 you guys and it came with these beautiful gel polishes I can't even fit everything in the screen it came with 16 polishes two base coats a top coat and a matte top coat so I thought this was a ridiculous steal for eight bucks to get all of these polishes and so um, this is the little user manual that it you know comes with to tell you how to put the stuff on but I just what a nice little touch and such a good price for something that was so inexpensive you know and so I'm not going to actually swatch these in this video I do want to take out just a few of the polishes just so you guys can kind of get an idea of the colors that came in it I just kind of want to show you guys really quick and kind of get a first impression on you know how the polishes are Ooh. okay so this is a really nice pastel yellow color here okay and we got it looks like it's a either white or gray color oh that's a white that's pretty it seems like it's it's kind of like a medium viscosity it's not too thick not too thin it's like we have a glitter blue color here let's show you guys that one. Ooh, look at that this is really pretty it's like blue and it has like fine blue shimmers along with purple glitters yeah, that's really pretty okay I like that a lot so yeah it came with 16 other colors and like I said it also came with the base coat two base coats a matte top coat and a glossy top coat so for eight dollars you really cannot beat it this was probably one of the coolest deals that I think I found on Amazon um, and this is really great for somebody who's really just getting into um, nail getting into nails and building up their nail collection having a selection like this the beautiful packaging the polishes look like they're decent like I said I'm gonna do a dedicated swatch video to this but what an awesome deal okay so yeah make sure y'all stay tuned to my community tab so like I say y'all can get y'all hands on these deals too I know that a few of my followers and subscribers were able to get their hands on this deal so I was excited to see that but yeah I will definitely keep them coming as I find them so I thought this was an absolute steal so the next few items I want to show you guys are all items that I got for under five dollars on Amazon that I thought was a really good deal so um, the first item here is just some drill bits um, so this pack of drill bits came with let's see these are cuticle drill bits okay it came with six cuticle drill bits right so I paid a dollar and 98 cents for this I thought that was a pretty good deal for it so I grabbed it not that I really needed more drill bits but you can never have too many you know especially when drill bits you know they kind of dull out after a while so I just grabbed it just a half so I got that next item I got here this here is some gold letter charm like some gold letter charms for the nail these I got I think for like two dollars and some change and I thought that was a really good deal I did see these available on Shein as well and I think on Shein they were like two dollars or 250 and I figured for an extra 20 30 cents it's worth it to just get it from Amazon it comes with tweezers and I get it in like two days so I went ahead and got it from Amazon instead let me show you guys what these look like okay so these are the tweezers that it comes with all right and then these are the actual letters let me just put them inside of here yeah these are the actual letters so I thought these would be really fun to play with to do some different type of nail art y'all know I'm really into like doing cool and festive things with my nails and so I thought it would be pretty cool to do something like that but this is kind of an example of what it would look like on the nail super cute man super cute really like that a lot 
So I did end up picking up two of these because I noticed that some of the letters, um, I think there's only like one of each letter in here. So I picked up two of them just so I'd be able to fully spell out whatever I wanted to spell. So I got that. The next item I picked up is some more charms. These charms were actually $3.99 and it came with 30 pieces. And so I thought that was a pretty good deal for them. These are really, really beautiful. I don't have any charms like this. And I love that they have those beautiful gems in there and it comes with all the varieties of different colors. So this is an example of what this one will look like. This one has like the hearts. It has the rectangular type gems. It has the, look at that. Yeah, that's really cute. Yeah, so it has like the hearts. It has like these rectangular type gems on it. Let's see. Yeah, super cute. And then I also saw that it had like the um, kind of diamond shaped one. So it has like the diamond shaped one on there. So it came with like just a variety of different, you know, shapes and colors. And I just thought they were really pretty. It even has like an AB one. Let me show you guys this one. This one's really pretty. Yeah, look at that. So stunning. And I really love the shine on these. So yeah, I thought that was a really good deal. So this was under $5. And I, I did also list this one on my community tab. Actually, most of these I listed on my community tab, so I got that. I also picked up these um, rhinestones right here. These were actually $3.79, you guys, and they came with 80 pieces. That is a lot. Look at these, y'all. Absolutely stunning. Like, just stunning. Yeah, I love these a lot. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these um, for nail art. Um, and another reason I really like them, too, is because they um, have the different colors and they are, are and they are a little bit bigger. So I don't have a lot of um, different colored rhinestones that are that are like of a larger size. And so I want to play around with you know bling placement and trying out different things with how I do my bling. And so I thought these would be a great addition to have for my nail collection. So I picked these up, and again it came with 80 of them, so it is plenty. The next item I got is just a few more um, wax dotting tools. These were actually on sale for like $5 and some change. And I actually purchased one of these from Eden's Rose. And I think I paid like maybe almost $7 or $8 for it. And um, I really like the pen a lot. So that is this pen right here. I'm not sure what the lid is right now, but it's this pen right here. I, I love it. It's still great. It still works fine. But um, I used it when I was doing poly gel at one point and it's just kind of getting a little sticky icky. It's still fine and I'm still going to be using it, but I just wanted to have like a back up and so um, this was a two pack for I think it was five dollars and some change and same deal it has like the nice point on this end and then it has the wax pencil on this end and it's cool because it comes with two different ones and this one I believe is actually it's like yellow wax right with the yellow crystals here so I thought that was that was really cute so yeah I picked up two of these just to have some backup wax pencils they cute they go so I had to have it next I picked up some stickers um, this bundle of stickers was this bundle of stickers was three dollars and some change and I thought it was a really good deal because it came with a lot of stickers. It came with 10 packs of stickers. And what I really loved about it is the fact that it actually had Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse on it. I don't think I've ever seen any like Disney themed um, stickers on Amazon. I don't, I don't know if they're like not allowed to sell it or whatever, but yeah, these got Mickey and Minnie on it. So I was like, oh, I gotta have these. And so it came with this pack of stickers. It came with these right here, which is super cute. It came with these. It has like different owls and stuff that say Merry Christmas, you know, stars, reindeer, different things like that. This one is just like some more animated, you know, Christmas trees and rocking chairs and reindeers and such. I also like these kind of brown colored stickers as well. We've got the mittens. Um, this one came with some different colored snowflakes, which is really pretty. I like that they're kind of pastel colored. I really want to, um, around Christmas time, I want to try to do like different color schemes outside of the typical green and uh, reds. I want to try to do like, you know, some different type of nail art with my Christmas designs. I thought these snowmen were absolutely adorable. These are super cute. This also some all white nails would be just uh, so nice. Um, more watercolor themed um, Christmas stickers. Um, we got these, these reindeer and stuff. So these reindeer, this one kind of looks like Bambi to me. I don't know why, but yeah, thought those were cute. There's even like a lady right here. I don't know if you guys can see her, but hey girl. 
Um, we also got uh, more Santa and reindeer. And then I like this is this is like the sweater theme type sticker. So I thought this was a really good bundle for three bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. You know, you think about it on Shein, you would probably pay like a dollar for like one sheet of stickers. So, you know, to get 10 of them for three dollars is not bad at all. Um, so I got these. And then I did get some more Christmas themed stickers. This time I got some that were kind of like rose gold or gold. And I actually, I saw these stickers on Short Nail Life channel like months and months ago. And um, I held off on getting them for a while. And then I, I saw them go down to $1.99 and I was like, $1.99 is a good deal for that. So you actually get eight sheets of stickers for $2, which I thought was a really good deal. So I'm just gonna go through really quick and show you guys what they look like. But this really beautiful gold and white, um, just Christmas themed nail art. So I thought they were really nice. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of like show you those so you can see what they look like. Just hold it up against this so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Okay. And it also came with this. Really cute. So I wanted to um, at some point do some like luxe looking Christmas nails. So I thought these would be cute to have. This is also really cute, you know. Okay, so these are the other Christmas stickers that I got. These nail charms right here are so adorable, you guys. They come, I think it came with 40. Let's see. Yeah, okay, look at how many charms come in here. Oh my goodness. And it comes with some tweezers. I paid $4 for these, and it comes with 40 of them. And I absolutely love the fact that they have all of the different colors in here. So, let's see. Yeah, these are absolutely stunning. Look at these, you guys. So it has like the pastel green, the pastel orange, kind of a, it has the red, kind of a uh, orangey red color, the lavender purple. I mean, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. And it's just like cluster charms. Like how cute is this? I mean, these would be cute for like some wedding day nails or just to spice up any really, or just to spice up any nail look, really. Like, I thought these were really, really beautiful. Actually, let me put these on a plate a little bit further out so you can really see all the different colors. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Oh my goodness. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, I got this. It was four bucks. So, totally worth it. Um, I cannot wait to use these in the nail look. It even came with some black flowers, too. Like, it came with black and it got some pinks in there too. Like it's just all the colors, all the rainbow. So I thought this was a really good deal. Also picked this up right here. These are some rhinestones. Oops. This was like a rhinestone kit that I saw that came with like some silicone tools. This was like $4 and some change. And this came with all of these items. Okay, so all of these items were $4 and some change, which I thought was a really good deal. So it came with silicone tools, it's silicone on one end and then dotting tools on the other. And the dotting tools are all different sizes. It's one, two, three, four, five dotting tools. It came with a wax pencil. It came with tweezers. It came with the small SS3 rhinestones, which are absolutely beautiful. And then it also came with a box of different shaped rhinestones. So you got the flowers, the hearts, the hexagons, the triangles, the diamonds. I mean, absolutely stunning, right? And then it also came with these rhinestones as well. So all of these items I got in a bundle from Amazon for less than $5. I thought that was a ridiculous steal. Was super excited to get my hands on this. Again, you guys, I do list all my deals on my community tab. So make sure you guys are checking that out so you can get your hands on these deals too. But yeah, this was really good. I was, I was excited to have this. The next item I found here are these really cute Mickey Mouse sequins. Again, whenever I find like some Disney themed stuff on Amazon for a low price, I'll go ahead and grab it. So this was $2 and some change. And I absolutely love these because they came with, oh, let me show you this side, this is a little bit better. But I absolutely love these because it came with all of these different colors of the Mickey Mouse heads. 
Like, aren't these just the cutest? Oh my goodness. Yeah, these were $2 as a change. I actually recently went to Disney, um, and I was so happy that I had these because I was able to do some um, Disney-themed nails. And so I'll insert a picture of what that set looked like. I do have a tutorial of that set coming soon, so definitely be on the lookout for that. But yeah, y'all, how cute is this? Like, absolutely love that they turned out great. Actually, I'm wearing these on my toes right now. I did the exact same kind of design where the Mickey Mouse head was in the corner on the big toe of, uh, of my feet and so it matched perfectly with my nails when I went to Disney so absolutely loved it so yeah make sure y'all are keeping an eye out for these deals because man you can't beat it next item I got here are some files I think these files were two or three dollars and um I thought these were a really good deal because they came with this is the one that has like this this the stainless steel what are these called oh, they're called like the slap and stick is that what they call oh, no the pick and steel no the peel and stick <laughs> about the peel and stick files and so it's the ones where they have like the uh, um, the tape on the back or the adhesive on the back you peel this off and then you can just stick it on to the actual um, file and this is a zebra file so it's supposed to be of a lighter grid and so you stick it on there and then you file it so I'm gonna test this out I mean I'm a really big fan of the young nails files right now so you know I've been using those for I've been using those pretty exclusively but I do want to still try out different files these seem like they're gonna be pretty nice and I like the fact one of the things I like about the young nails files is that the the base of the file isn't flimsy and so I know with this the stainless steel piece is not gonna you know it's gonna you still get a nice straight edge so I'm excited to try these out um, for some of my future nail designs when I'm shaping my nails so I have these next item I picked up is some more bling y'all know I love bling I actually just recently used this bling in a set I recreated Lizzo's bling nails and um, I'm gonna insert a picture of what my, my blinged out nails look like but these were the brinestones that I used and these are just like super high quality the bling like the shine and the crystal is absolutely beautiful I mean it's kind of blinding actually um, and so yeah I'm just gonna open up a few of these so you guys can see what they look like but I mean this thing came packed with a ton of crystals. I found this on Amazon for $5 and some change, y'all. And I was a little bit hesitant to get it at first because I was asking myself that I really need more bling. And y'all already know, you can never have enough bling, okay? And so I went ahead and got it and I'm so glad I did because it came with so many rhinestones. I actually wasn't expecting it to be this full, but as y'all can see, it is like packed to the top. Like it is a lot of rhinestones in here and they're so beautiful. The shine on them are amazing. And when they hit the light, the reflect on them is just is absolutely stunning so I highly recommend these if you all get your hands on them but I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box okay the next item I picked up is actually some uh, glue dots these glue dots I would normally get from like Shein but I saw them on Amazon and they were $4.99 for I believe there was like 1500 of these and I think one pack carries one two three four five six seven yeah so one pack has like a hundred and so um yeah I thought this was a really good deal so um, I would get them from Shein. I think I would pay like a dollar for just a pack of a hundred, either a dollar or a dollar and fifty. And so I figured for five dollars to get fifteen packs of them was like a better deal. And so um, this is currently where I keep my my glue dot set. This is actually how I store my nail stands and such. And so this is where my glue dots are. And so these are the ones that I got from Shein. I'm kind of curious to see how they compare with these from Amazon. So I'm gonna actually open this up and just see what they look like. And yeah, they look they look the same to me. It looks like the ones from Shein are like slightly bigger, but I mean they look like it's about the same. I use them really to just put on my nail stand when I'm trying to do some different um, nail art designs. And so yeah, I'm happy to have these for sure. It's 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 a much better price from Amazon to me anyway. And so and then also with these, I sometimes. Um, Sometimes I use these if I need to, um, if I do like a press on set for myself and I need to just kind of like do my outside shots and stuff like that, I'll just use these glue dots and they don't last long at all. So don't try to use them for press on nails, but they last quick if you need to take a, a quick picture of your nails on or whatever. So yeah, I got these. That was a pretty good deal. I also picked up some more jelly stampers, you guys. So I got these for $4 and it came with six different stamping heads. I thought this was a ridiculous deal. Actually, one of my nail sisters, uh, Carrie over at iNail, so shout out to you, darling. She told me about this deal, and when I say I snatched it up so quick, okay, I snatched it up 
as soon as she told me about it it was four dollars i think it was 419 if i'm not mistaken it came with six different stamping heads and each stamping head came with its own scraper so i thought that was really good i'm gonna open up this red one here and just kind of see the quality of the stamper so that's what it looks like okay yeah it feels nice and sticky and what i love about it is that it's a lot closer so you can actually see what you're doing and where you're stamping so the issue i had with my old stamper which is this one right here is that the barrel was too long and so when i would try to look in to see where I, what i was doing and stamping i couldn't really see what i was doing like the image is blurred and i feel like with this one the image is a lot clearer and i'll be able to see where i'm stamping when i try to place down my image so yeah i was really excited to find these okay the next two items i picked up are two um or two stamping plate kits and um a few of these plates i did already have but i just wanted to go through and show you all the new plates that i got my stamping plate collection is getting pretty extensive but i got these for five dollars and fifty cents and it came with um i think seven plates yeah it came with seven plates in each kit so i paid ten dollars for 14 plates so i'm gonna just go through and show you all what they look like this plate i do already have um so this is just a double for me this one i thought was really cool it has like the paris the the i love paris on here it has like the lifelines it got something in like french um it has like the little uh, bouquet of hearts right here so i thought that was really pretty um this one i like this one this is like a chinese themed plate so it has like the chinese like um, hanging decor the fishes jumping out of the pond um, the different like trimming and stuff that that's on like uh, Chinese buildings the fans so I thought that was really cool um, I also got this plate I thought was really amazing this is what really made me buy this it actually has letters on this plate right so if I wanted to spell out a word or something in cursive I have all the letters of the alphabet here so I thought that was a really cool deal um, and then it had really cute like trimming and stuff more like leaves and things like that um on this one i think this one is kind of it's kind of like a like an all-around play it it's kind of um kind of like abstract drawings i guess so there's a rabbit there's a unicorn uh, we got a flamingo here a summer leaf there's a cat um something that says girl power the abstract nail art so i thought that was really cool to have and then this one, um, I thought this was cool too. It has just like a lot of cool positive sayings on it. So, you know, do what you love, love what you do, don't be afraid, um, kiss, um, you got this, follow your dreams, gossip queen, smile, keep going, just different type of motivational things. So I thought this was really cool to have as well. And then in the second kit here, this one is a unicorn themed stamping plate. So, you know, you can never have too many unicorn themed items and I thought this one was just the absolute cutest so I can't wait to use this um, the next one here is um, this is a bee themed um, stamping plate and I've really been wanting to do some bee nails um, I do got like some bee nail charms and things like that and so to have like the honeycomb and like the actual bees I thought was really cool it even has some ladybugs on here and like the dripping honey so I thought that was nice and even if you don't want to use the dripping honey you can just use that as like drip nails you know so that's that's pretty popular right now um, next one, this one here has like some pop art on it. It has the Eiffel Tower, shooting stars, just like random items that's fun to play around with, even some lips. So that was nice. This one just has like different like trimming and nail artwork on it. So these are cool for like French tips or, you know, going down the middle of the nail, etc. Um, this one was cute. It has like different bird cages and birds and such on it. This one here is just more um, kind of like random nail art. Um, it looks like this one has like the peacock feather on it, which is really cool. And this is even closer of the peacock feather. It has some fruit, an anchor. Um, um, what is this called? I forget the name of this bird right here. Now tell me what the name of this bird is. I didn't forgot what it was, but that bird, it got watermelon cherries you know palm trees etc so this this was a fun plate and then the last one here is just some more random nail art and I thought this one was really cool to have because it has like the French tip um, stamps on it along with like diamonds and hearts and even like perfect circles so yeah I thought these would be really cool to play around with so yeah y'all 
I, my stamping plate collection is just getting bigger and bigger. And what I liked about these plates that I got, there was only one plate in here that was a duplicate for me. All of the rest of these plates I don't have. So yeah, I got 14 new stamping plates and it goes perfectly with the jelly stampers I just showed you guys. So yeah, get ready for some more stamping nail art on my channel. I also picked up some glitters from Amazon. Um, I believe this was uh, listed from Just Nikki. She um, talked about a deal that was going on on Amazon. I think these were half off. I believe I paid $2 and some change for these. Six different glitters. Some of them even look like chameleon glitters. So I'm gonna just show you all what they look like really quick. So this one is like a silver hollow glitter. Look how stunning that is. Oh my goodness. Absolutely love this. So this is a beautiful, nice raw glitter. And I believe these are probably 10 gram containers because this is a pretty good, decent amount of glitter that you get in here. This next one is a beautiful purple hollow glitter that has like a beautiful green shift to it. Absolutely stunning, love it. The next one here is, um, looks like a really nice kind of fuchsia pink glitter. Really beautiful as well. I can't wait to maybe mix these with some clear acrylic or even encapsulate them with some gel. I mean, they're gonna just be absolutely stunning. This one right here actually looks like the glitter that I recently got in the McCart Your Nail Lab box, but it kind of looks like mermaid scale. So it's like a really beautiful white pink iridescent glitter. Absolutely stunning. Next we have the, it's a light kind of hot pink color that has like a beautiful green shift to it. Really beautiful, y'all. And then the last glitter we have here is actually like a red kind of chameleon looking glitter. And that's really pretty as well. So I am gonna leave all the items that I'm talking about linked down in the description box below. But yeah, I thought this was a really good deal for two bucks to get all these glitters. Definitely was here for it. Next, I actually picked up a pack of spinners. I think this is 20 spinners. And I paid, I think, $6.99 or either they're $7.99 for it. And I thought this was a pretty good deal because I saw that on Shein, you pay 2 or $3 for just five of the spinners. And so when I did the math, it was like I would end up paying $12 for 20 of them when I could just pay 6 or $7 and get 20 So that's why I went ahead and got them from Amazon. Um, so, yeah, I do have some already in my collection, but I definitely wanted to have more. I really want to start putting more spinning charms on my nails and on my design. And so yeah, that's why I picked these up. I also picked up some extra extra long full cover coffin tips um, I believe these were like five dollars maybe four or five dollars I don't quite remember how much I paid for these but um, y'all know I'm kind of sort of getting into extra extra long nails And so I just want to have a variety of different ones um, in my repertoire And so yeah, that is the length of these nails right here and they seem like they are pretty decent quality. The tips are pretty strong. And then at the cuticle area, it's a little thin. It did turn white. Um, I know people sometimes want me to press the nail to see what that does. I'm not really sure what that means, but um, I know that once I apply the, the nail tip, you know, it should be pretty sturdy because the actual tip itself is good. So yeah, y'all, these are the tips I got from Amazon. And this box came with 240 tips. Next, I picked up some cutting tools. So I am getting into acrylic as you all have seen me. I've done a couple of acrylic sets on my channel so far. And I wanted to get some of these cut to kind of help with my French lines and so yeah I'm pretty good with doing French lines with gel polish but with acrylic I don't think that I'm going to be that great at it so I got these to kind of help me out and it's just a lot of different sizes I thought they were really cute and I really love the gold color so this one is for just for like a kind of kind of almond type kind of like an almond or oval type um, cut this one is for like the perfect V cut this one here is for like the basic French cut. Along with this one, it's kind of the same thing, very similar. And then these are kind of more so like a rounded French. And then this one, I'm not really sure, you know, how you're supposed to shape with this one, but you know, it's another cutter. So it all came with the kit. So I picked that up. This is this is a random item. This is actually a, um, a rechargeable, um, this is actually a rechargeable lighter. And I got this because um, I noticed that the lighters that I normally get, I normally just get my lighters from Dollar Tree, 
the ones that have the little stem or whatnot on it. I noticed that those go out kind of quick and I'm kind of tired of buying them. And so I had found this on sale for $7.99 and I thought, you know, I might as well just pay eight bucks right now and then I can just keep recharging it when I want to use it. And I'm, you know, I'm using it to light candles and things like that. So I want to show you all what this looks like. It's really nice. I have two other ones already um, that I've already been using. And so I wanted to go ahead and get a third one. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to keep one in every room of the house. And so, yeah, this is what it looks like. So it's a rechargeable um, lighter, you guys. So it's nice because it bends. And so if you're wanting to light a candle or something, you know, you don't have to like put your hand too close in it. So you can use it like that. And um, essentially what you do is you flick it up and you will see that the light will come on. So right now it has like three cells. Is that three or two? Yeah, it has three cells, so it's, it has some charge to it, right? So I want to show you all how it works. So these two things, it, it brings like an electrical current in between there, and then it, it lights the candle. So let's see. Oh, it don't work. What the heck? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I thought it didn't work. I was going to be sad. So this is what the electrical current looks like. So it's just small. So it's just small and it goes straight across like that. And so you put that over the wick of your candle and it lights your candle. And so I really like that a lot. And it's and it comes with like the standard USB charging cord as well. So you just plug it in and charge it. Like I said, I have one that I've been using already. And honestly, I haven't charged it since I bought it. So the charge on these lasts a really long time. And if you think about it, you're really not using it that often. You're really taking two, three seconds to, you know, light your candle and you're putting it away. So yeah, I picked this up. I also picked up some more glitters. So I saw these glitters on Carrie over at iNails channel and I thought they were really, really pretty. Um, at first I wasn't going to get them, but the way that she like showcased them and talked about them, it made me have to go ahead and get them. So let me go ahead and show you guys what these look like. Let me see. Is it already open? Okay. So this actually comes with 24 glitters and they're already in a jar, which I thought was pretty cool. And this was, I think $8 and some change. It was 10 grams. So it's a pretty big size container for as many glitters as that you get. And they're nice fine glitters and so these would be really cool to kind of mix with the chunky glitters that I just showed um, when I want to make my acrylic and or gel mixes and so yeah I'm just gonna show you all just a few of the glitters I'm not gonna go through and open all of them because that would take all day but aren't these just beautiful yeah I think I'm gonna go through on a different video and just go through and show you all how all of these look up close but I thought this was a nice cool variety of different colors that come we got the whites we got the reds the orange the browns the blues the greens the purples the blacks the silvers the rose golds I mean you have the whole array of the rainbow here that was a really good deal for under nine dollars so yeah I picked that up the next item I picked up is actually some 3d um, stickers oh well actually they are 5d stickers I've been seeing a lot of people um, use these in nail art designs and I thought they would be pretty cool to try out myself um, I got five packs of them and I paid let's see how much I paid I actually paid $2.99 and I just thought they were really pretty they're all like 3d so you can see they kind of are embossed like they kind of stand up from the nail and so I'm just really interested to you know get into using like 3d nail art stickers I actually want to open one of these up let me open yeah this one's really pretty I'm gonna open this one up here and I just want to see what they like look like and feel like you know Ooh, yeah you can even feel the texture on them so yeah you guys see how they're like 3d so they kind of stand up off the, the sheet here so that's gonna be pretty cool to play with but I'm kind of curious like when I use the stickers when I encapsulate them with the clear gel if it's gonna end up making it not 3d you know what I mean but yeah, they're really cool and I just want to play around with them. Like I said, I've seen a lot of people using them, so I want to give them a try as well. They feel really nice and soft though. The next items I picked up are some more stickers. Okay, now this I think was like a 12 pack of stickers. Let me see how many came in here. So yeah, this is this was a 12 pack of stickers for $2.99, you guys. So three bucks. And it came with a bunch of cute little designs. And so I'm just gonna kind of hold them up and let you all see them. This one is a fruit themed nail art sticker, so it has oranges on it. This one is flower theme, so that was super cute. More flowers here, okay. And I've actually made some flowers like this with my dotting tool, so it's just fun to have them in a sticker form. 
This one is full of strawberries, absolutely adorable. This one is full of like cherries and watermelons and strawberries and flowers and different types of um, things. Uh, we got avocados here. I had actually been eyeballing some avocado nail stickers on Shein. I think I did buy them. I can't remember, but I have these as well. And I think this is cute. The little avocado, the little avocado with like a hat and a drink. <laughs> this one has like different um, birdies on it. Um, and this one, yeah, so I actually did list this on my uh, community tab, and this one I listed last month during Pride Month, and so, you know, these are like some Pride stickers. They have the colorful rainbows and such. Um, more flowers, more Pride-themed stickers, and down here they even have like cheetah print and different hearts and smiley faces. You know, some more leaves and some cacti. I mean, how cute are these? So yeah, y'all, I thought this was a really good bundle for three bucks. I mean, you really can't beat it, so... I got these. I did find another pack of stickers, you guys. I guess I was kind of on a sticker frenzy, huh? And so I picked up these. These are, let's see. Open this one. These came with, let's see, 10 sheets of stickers for $3 and some change. And so I'm gonna just kind of just show you all again what they look like. This one here is um, just some cute colorful leaves. And this one here has a nice assortment of different types of flowers. Even they have lavender, which is really pretty. This one here is more pastel themed leaves, which I have not seen before. So excited to have this in my collection. This one reminds me of like Thanksgiving slash peachy fall themed looking um, sticker. This one here is kind of cool. And I like the fact that they have like the actual full nail stickers on here too. So these would be kind of fun to try to like maybe, you know, cover full nail with some of these stickers. These have some beautiful yellow flowers and then also some more bees in here. So again, going with that bee nail. And I thought it was pretty cool to actually have the letter R on here. And so y'all know my initial rose. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this one even has like text on it, which I thought was kind of cool. And then different leaves and flowers. This one has like more flowers, butterflies, more Thanksgiving themed. It says Happy Thanksgiving right here. Um, more fall slash Thanksgiving themed one. This one says thankful, um, so grateful for you, different phrases like that. And then some abstract um, fall themed nail art stickers. So I thought this was a really cool bundle to have too. Um, it kind of goes from fall to summer to spring, so a nice variety of different colors in here. So thanks for hanging in there with me so far. I just got a few more items to show you all. Um, I did get this gel polish kit. Um, I did list this also on my community tab. This one was $4.99. I've not tried this brand before, so um, I'm curious to see what their gel polishes are like. Um, oh, hey, I missed a sticker. Yeah, no sticker left behind, okay? So this is what this kit comes with. Let's see here. So, ooh, okay. So these are what the gel polishes look like. It says, thank you for using our products. Yeah, these are really, really pretty. So these are some glitter gel polishes. I really like the bottles that these come in. And I'm curious to see what the consistency of the powder, I mean, what the polishes are like. Yeah, these are nice bottles. It's a 10 ml bottle, and let's see what the colors look like. Ooh. So it's a really nice, pretty glitter polish. Okay, I like that. So this is a gold polish. I kinda wanna see what they all look like. This is what B01 looks like. Okay, a really nice, pretty blue glitter polish here. The polishes seem like they're on the thicker side, which I'm not mad at. You all know I prefer working with thicker polishes because I feel like it gives you more control over the product. Um, next we have B05, which is like this pretty light purple. Not even light, but you know, just a pretty purple color. They se they do seem a little bit goopy though, so I mean, I'm sure they're gonna be fine though. But yeah, these are some really pretty glitter polishes. This is a really pretty glitter purple. Next we have kind of this teal, turquoise looking, oh wow, this is really pretty. Now I do like how this glitter feels. The other ones feel a little bit chunky, but this one feels really smooth. That's really nice, I like that. And then next we have B03. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a nice kind of pure, hollow, fine glitter. That's really pretty, I like that one. Yeah, they seem like they're gonna be decent polishes. Again, on the thicker side though. 
and then we also have B04. Oh wow. Oh, this is cute. So this is like a nice jelly hollow looking glitter. That's going to be fun to play around with. I like that. I can see this being cool for like some unicorn nails or something like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So I have Lanfo in my collection now. So I'll be giving them a try and see how they work out. And then I just have two, no, three more items here. So I did also pick up some nail tips. So you all, you all know I'm starting to sculpt my nails more. And so I did want to have like different types of tips of different sizes. And so um, I did find me some short stiletto tips. And these are going to be for when I want to do my nails to like wear, like when I'm going on vacation and things like that. I typically don't wear super long nails on a day to day basis. This is probably the longest that I would go if I'm wearing nails on a day to day basis. This is a very comfortable length for me. And I think these are considered like medium nails. But generally, I like to do shorter tips and so um or shorter nails in general um so yeah i got these they're like just really short stiletto and i'm not really sure how they're going to fit on my nail bed because i have these nails on but i do think that these are going to fit me just nicely but i thought these were really really cute so these are going to be cute for some like kitty claw nails or whatever so yeah it'd be fun using these with maybe doing like a builder gel a quick builder gel set or a quick you know acrylic overlay so this did come with 600 pieces and i believe it was only five dollars and some change so i thought that was a pretty good deal so yeah i picked that up and this is also listed in my community tab two more items i got here so this is just a backup item that i purchased i actually have this item already this is my maran peel off base coat and it still has a decent amount left in it um i think i still have like maybe a fourth of the bottle left and I've been using this consistently since like like about the last six or seven months and so this stuff lasts a really long time and I actually saw it on sale for like $11 at some change it's normally like $13 and so I was like well I know at some point I'm gonna need more of it so I went ahead and got a backup of it so that is the new one that I purchased this is a Nelly made me buy a purchase so shout out to Nails by Nelly here on YouTube she does a lot of poly gel sets and a siesta is like her favorite nude poly gel color and so I wanted to give it a try and see what it would look like against my skin tone and so let me open this up here and see what it's looking like and I actually am going to swatch this right now because I'm just like dying to know what the color looks like but I did I got this on sale it was this was on sale for $12 and some change. It normally retails for $15. And I actually just looked it up right before I started shooting this video. You guys know it is um, Prime Day. This is actually on sale for $9.99 right now. So I think that's probably the lowest you'll probably ever see this poly gel for. Um, but yeah, that's a really good deal for it. But I ended up paying $12 and some change for it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and swatch this really quick. Because I want to see what the color looks like. So I'll be right back with the swatch stick of this. All right, you guys, so I did go ahead and swatch the ICS the Poly Gel off camera, and it is an absolutely stunning nude color. It's kind of like a deep um, nude that kind of has like mauve undertones to it, kind of like a purpley mauve undertone to it, and I think it's going to look absolutely stunning against my skin tone. So I'm excited to play around with this color. It is really, really beautiful. So yeah, like I said, I, I did look on Amazon and this is actually on sale for $9.99 right now, which is actually a really good deal for it. I guess I paid I paid $12 and some change for it. Um, that was on sale from the original price, $15. So yeah, and this is a 50 ml container, which is 1.76 fluid ounces, but I absolutely love this color. Wow, okay awesome sauce okay yeah so i picked this up and yeah y'all thank y'all for hanging in there with me i have one more kit that i want to show you guys and it is from savvy land i actually paid 10.99 for this kit but it is a glow in the dark builder gel set so let me show you all what came within it okay Ooh. yeah all right now so yeah you all know i'm getting into builder gel as well so this kit came with uh six different colors six different colors and some nail forms here and then also a gel brush and so with this gel brush you'll just want to put the handle in on the other side and it creates like a full size brush for you so that's pretty cool and then it came with all of these colors here so let me go ahead and get them open all of these are let's see how big these are it's 15 gram containers and like i said all of these colors do glow in the dark which i thought was really cool let's, let's take a look. okay 
and then there's seal. <laughs> so much packaging. <laughs> I just wanna take a look really quick at the consistency of them, you know? I just wanna see what they look like. I'm so curious to know, you know? Ooh. Hmm. All right. All right, so this is what the Builder Gel looks like, okay? So this is like a pretty pink color here. I feel like I can see the pigment granules. It doesn't seem like it's a really smooth builder gel though. I feel like I can see the pigment that they mixed in with here. It's kind of a thicker consistency. Um, so yeah, I have this pink. I need to swatch these though so that I can see the colors and how they look because um, they do glow in the dark. So I mainly got this kit because it glowed in the dark. So let me see what this purple looks like. Okay. This is what the purple looks like. Okay. It's of a thicker viscosity for sure. And like I said, I feel like I can see the pigment that they used in here, but I do feel like it'll probably self level really good because the pieces of the gel that kind of lift it, it looks like it's kind of blending back into the actual gel pot itself. So. We'll see how I feel about these colors overall moving forward. I am going to keep them and test them out and see how they work. This is the green that comes with this kit. Okay. Yeah, this is a really thick builder gel. Okay, so this is the green that comes. It looks really pretty though. Got that color. This one here is a blue. A really beautiful kind of sky blue color. So that's what that builder gel looks like. Again, the gel is kind of textured, so I don't know how I'm feeling about that, but we're going to still test it out and see how it works. I feel like it might be textured because they had to add the pigment in in order to get it to glow in the dark. I'm assuming that's why it's textured the way that it is, but it's kind of throwing me off a little bit because I know Builder Gel is typically supposed to be like a lot smoother. So, yeah, and this color here is the red, and so that's what that looks like. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really impressed with these builder gels. I'll be honest with you guys. So, okay, we'll just have to see how they work. <laughs> I have them. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll be using them, huh? <laughs> if nothing else, if I don't use them, I can always use them on my practice hand. This is the yellow. I'm really curious to see how they glow in the dark. So I am going to do a dedicated review to, the, to this kit just to see how it performs. And then also to see how that glow is. But, yeah, y'all, this is what the yellow looks like. Okay. So yeah, these are all the colors that came in the glow in the dark kit. So yeah, we'll see how they end up working out overall for me. I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but we'll see how it works out. All right, you guys. So this is everything that I hauled during my most recent Amazon nail supply haul. Let me know what's your favorite item that I picked up. Mine would definitely have to be this huge gel polish set for $8. Um, you guys, it, Amazon Prime is going on right now. Um, I did just post a few hours ago on my community tab, my most recent deal that I found. So I'm gonna put a picture on the screen. I actually found this charm box on Amazon that was under $5. So if you all want to get your hands on this, head over to my community tab. I also listed double the amount of items that I normally list on my community tab um, in honor of Prime Day just so that you all can shop all the deals that I found. I found a ton of items under $5, tons of items under $10, um, really cool kits, everything you can think of, all type of nail supplies are there. And then also because it is uh, Prime Day tomorrow as well, I'm going to do a bonus post tomorrow of all the deals that I find on Amazon as well. Then also for tomorrow, in addition to nail products, I thought it might be kind of cool to list um, different types of maybe like electronics fashion beauty items that I might find tomorrow so that um, if you all also shop those items like I do um, you can find them there as well so be on the lookout for my community tab tomorrow for all the deals that I find um, that are regular Amazon deals and then also prime day deals and so yeah it seems you guys are really enjoying um, shopping the community tab so I'm enjoying searching for deals and posting them for you guys so definitely keep an eye out for that um, and I typically try to post my deals on like a, a Monday or a 
Tuesday. So yeah, so just always be on the lookout for my community tap early on in the week. Also this Thursday for my Nail Therapy Thursday premiere, I'm gonna be talking about these nails right here. So if you're curious about how I got this look, definitely tune in this Thursday to see how I got them. And just a spoiler alert, these are press on nails y'all. Can y'all believe it? Cause they are hot, okay? Um, and so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.